Climbing Ghetto was not that easy because uh, we were climbing in the temperature of minus 60 degree and which, is, which could uh, take our life. I think the biggest thing was just before 10 meters, uh, before the summit, you know, brothers to brothers, soldiers to soldiers, we all get together and walking to the summit together. I think that was the most emotional part of the journey. It was so cold that we always need to put, uh, put very big clothes on our body and we had to wear uh, big clothes. That, makes, uh, that made us very difficult to work. And, and we're, we, we have to fix a rope which is like a 7 mm. And we're, uh, catching those rope with big gloves, it, that was again another problem. And we, some, some, some places and sometimes we need to take out the gloves and need to make a knot on the rope. We had a cam in, in 7,000 meters that, that was like uh, broken. It, the, the power of the wind was so, so big that it broke our, uh, the tent poles and the tent poles uh, uh, torn out this tent and all the equipment inside the tent so it blown away. When, the, when our friends they reached uh, Camp 2, they found nothing. And the next day, again, we had, we had to take everything from this camp. When you feel like you're gonna die, you're like, oh, then that's when you know, like, okay, had I gone there, had I passed away, you know. couldn't have been better here in Pakistan um, and that's purely because of you know our brother here you know you all made us feel home Nepali Sherpa and then Baltistan local people it's culturally language is similar to. that's why we feel like a home we are in Nepal we are in I feel sometimes I feel in I'm in Nepalese uh, Sherpa village that that kind of feels this time we, we Succeeded climbing to the summit and we made our nation proud. I think we also made the Pakistan people and uh, the country Pakistan proud because now we, mm, this, this can help uh, to promote uh, winter, winter climbing in Pakistan as well.